So now we're going to be programming an IV piggyback infusion. We're going to be using the drug potassium 10 MEQs per the doctor's orders to be infused over an hour. I've already primed the secondary tubing for the piggyback. Just like you squeezed on the drip chamber for the primary line, there is a notch on the secondary tubing for the piggyback. You'll squeeze it till you reach that notch. Then you simply open up the roller clamp, prime till you hit the end with this protected cap. You're gonna remove the cap. You're going to swab your clave, and then you're going to push in and then twist to secure it on. That opens and activates the valve. So just like line A, I'm going to thread the tubing into the line B tubing guide. So now I'm going to, to choose B with my soft key, and I'm looking for potassium, so it's um, seven and it's the first letter, so I'm just gonna hit that one time for the P drugs to come up. And I'm looking for potassium, so I'll page down, because I don't see it there. Page down one more time. And then here's all my potassium, so I'm just gonna select key down to my 10 MEQs, and I'm gonna choose. And it is in the piggyback mode. However, if you wanted to change it to a concurrent delivery, this is where you could change the mode and you see it will change to concurrent. So let me go back to piggyback. And because the doctor ordered this 100 to go in over an hour, I'm gonna select key down to the volume, which is 100, and then select down to highlight hours and I'll put one in. And then I'm gonna press the green buttons. I waited for start to come at the prompt. And then yes to go ahead and start this infusion. So now you see your flow indicator on B is also now blinking. And because it's in piggyback mode, the A is in standby until our potassium is completed.